In the year 50 BC, Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Well, not entirely. One small village of indomitable Gaul still holds out against the invaders. This village is home to Asterix, a cunning little leader with an indomitable spirit, and his best friend Obelix, a men here deliver a man with immense strength due to falling into a cauldron of magic potion as a child. Together, they maintain the spirit and independence of their village against all odds. Alongside them is Getafix, the wise village druid, who brews the magic potion that grants temporary superhuman strength to its drinkers. Vital Statistics, the chief of the village, who is both brash and brave, and a host of colorful villagers who each contribute in their unique way to the resistance. The plot begins when Julius Caesar, in frustration over his legion's repeated failures to conquer this stubborn village, decides to send a fresh cohort led by the ambitious centurion Bonus Malice to finally put an end to the Gauls' defiance. Bonus Malice arrives with new strategies, hoping to bribe, outwit, or intimidate the Gauls into surrendering. He constructs an elaborate fortified camp around the village and issues a challenge to Asterix and his friends. The villagers remain unshaken and respond with their usual cheer and confidence. Amidst the tension, Obelix can't resist playfully challenging whole groups of Roman soldiers with his ridiculous strength, much to the frustration of Bonus Malice. Asterix, ever the strategist, devises clever traps and tactics to outsmart the Romans at every turn. Getafix, meanwhile, continues preparing the magic potion and even creates some special variants to confuse the ambushers. Bonus Malice, realizing that force alone won't work, attempts to introduce spies into the village, but the Gauls are too wise for his ploys. They uncover the spies and turn the tables, feeding them false information that leads the Romans into well-laid traps. The comedic back and forth continues, with Roman attempts becoming increasingly desperate and ridiculous. One night, Asterix and Obelix decide to take decisive action. Donning Roman disguises, they infiltrate the camp of Bonus Malice and sabotage their supplies. They paint graffiti on the walls, release their horses, and steal strategic documents, all without being detected. The chaos they create reduces the camp to shambles, and in the resulting confusion, the Roman legions find themselves fighting amongst themselves. The following day, as Bonus Malice tries to regain control of his disorganized troops, the Gauls launch a daring daylight raid. With Asterix leading the charge, they manage to overrun the camp and, in a comedic twist, secure a wagon loaded with luxury Roman goods. Bonus Malice, humiliated, is forced to retreat and return to Caesar, who, in disbelief, can't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all. The village of indomitable Gauls celebrates another victory with a grand feast, where the bard Cacophonics is, unsurprisingly, tied up to prevent him from singing.